Jason Shelby, this is a last minute plea to stop this bill from becoming law. They are calling on Governor Kevin Stitt to veto this piece of legislation. Now, last week, the bill passed the Senate by a 37 to 7 vote, mostly along party lines with Republicans in support. Now, it prevents transgender girls from playing on female sports teams. Advocates speaking out today include the Human Rights Campaign. They say this only further harms and isolates transgender youth. The governor is expected to sign this bill into law. And last week, we heard arguments from lawmakers in the House on both sides. This bill does not preclude transgender athletes from competing in sports. This bill secures fair competition for biological males and for biological females. I have heard so many debates and questions that verbally center on the protection of our youth. And I believe that we truly have the power to do that. But this bill doesn't do that. It will not accomplish that. Well, that debate took place before both the House and Senate approved the measure. Last week, similar legislation was vetoed by two Republican governors in Indiana and Utah. They cited lack of evidence and compassion for the isolation of trans children and the high likelihood of litigation challenging these bills if they were to become law. Now, here in Oklahoma City, that press conference is set for 11 a.m. here at the state capital. We will keep you updated. For now, reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.